Hello. We are going to the post office. Let's do Dad's fit check. Dad, fit check. Where's your top from? Super dry. Where's your um, jeans from? Next. Where's your shoes from? Amazon. Where's your socks from? They were a gift from one of the viewers. Where's your glasses from? Spec savers. Right, drippy. Let's go back inside. Ask the mum. Check. What? Show me your fit. Where's what? your hoodie from? What? Where's your hoodie from? It's one of Daddy's old ones. <laughs> what, let's see your top. Are you wearing a top? No, just a hoodie. <laughs> Where's your jeans from? River Island. <laughs> Why? I'm doing fit checks. You're wearing nothing but hoodie and jeans. And now we're going to the post office and the Hoover's in the world. And it's a lot of Oh, hello. I haven't actually said hello to the vlog yet, I realised. Phoebe's here as well. Dan's here. This is rather like the other day. It was just the three of us in the car. We are on our way to Adstas. <laughs> we have just been doing errands that I would normally do on my own but I've had company so I've been to the post office done a bit of shopping and all of that and we even went and had a rather luxurious middle of the day hot chocolate or oh, Dan had a pumpkin latte, yeah, a pumpkin pie latte which was nice so Dan is off today but feeling loads better Still a bit tired though, aren't you? But yeah. I think that's fatigue is an issue. Yes, fatigue. fatigue is real. But he's about to work tomorrow, so it's kind of it feels a bit like a Saturday or a Sunday because everyone's kind of off and it feels oh, it quite feels leisurely. Like, it feels like a Sunday when you're back from holiday and you've got to go back to work. The next uh, yeah. <laughs> so I was going to go. I went to check my PO box, but unfortunately they close at twelve on a Monday and it's three o'clock now, and they're on strike tomorrow. So they open again on Wednesday, but I sunglasses back on I of course am working on Wednesday so we're off to Asda to pick up a couple of other bits that we need for the week and we're going to go home and give those daft chickens their vegetables for the afternoon there's a lot of bird flu at the moment so we're looking we've got various restrictions in place but they're not in flock down just yet but I think we're looking at that fairly soon yeah. and oh and what I discovered in the charity shop just now that Phoebe has never read a book <laughs> no or watched you remember what it's called Pride and Prejudice she even said who's that boy so I thought maybe we'll watch Pride and Prejudice one of the like maybe the film the Kira Knightley version because it's a film length rather than the BBC MT adaptation level. which is about nine hours worth just been sorting out some stuff for my Etsy shop. So this is my trolley that I keep everything on. I've got all my stock and my badges and everything that I need. All my packaging bits. I've just been sorting a few bits out. I'm about to put it all away. While I was out at the post office, I picked up another big roll of the customs decorations. I'm running out of those what I have to put on every parcel that's going anywhere outside of the UK and I always remember when I first started selling on Etsy and I was filling out um, these 
stickers to put on my parcels. And I remember thinking it was such a faff and I went and did a bit of Googling and there was a forum and someone in the forum said, oh goodness, if ever I um, felt that filling out a form, if I've, ever I was selling enough of what I'm selling, that filling out a customs form was a problem, I think I'd feel very happy. Uh, so I never, I never feel inconvenienced by filling these out. Yes, they have a lot of information that's required, but I always think to myself, you know, I should count myself lucky that I'm able to fill these out and attach them to my parcels because uh, I've been able to sell the things that I'm selling and I feel grateful for that. I'm watching Sarah over at Yarn Mugs for Vlogtober. This is her cat Alfie. She's just explaining he's in the loaf position, <laughs> like a loaf of bread. I've also got some more air mail stickers. That's all they had. I need more than that. And because so many of you said it was such a good book, I picked up The Beekeeper of Aleppo. This is a pristine copy. It, it doesn't look like it's been touched. Look at that. Looks like I've just picked that up out of brand new, doesn't it? £1.50. So I wasn't sure. So I, when I was talking to the girls yesterday, Gaynor was saying that this was such a good book and that I would definitely like it and I should definitely read it or listen to it. So I wasn't sure if I was going to go and get this to add to my stash or listen to it on Audible. But we were in the charity shop today and it was still there, so I did get it. And if I do end up deciding to listen to it instead, I will give this book as a gift. The synopsis is that it's about a couple who are fleeing the war in Syria and travelling through Europe to Britain. So it's a story about um, refugees. I keep forgetting to pick the camera up today, so we are having a shop bought uh, pistachio korma sauce with uh, chicken and some naan and some shop bought poppadoms, some rice and then I made a cauliflower curry. It was Phoebe's idea to have curry. How is it Phoebes? Good. How was your training today, Amelia? It was very good, very interesting. You had online training today, didn't you? You learned about ingredients and things. Um, about Afro hair care and the history of bath bombs. That oh, sounds really cool. The first one was made in 1989. <laughs> and the longest standing bath bomb is Butterball, which was made in 1999, I think. Or maybe that was the year somebody How was putting the tape more than I don't know. <laughs> Getting in there in a minute. Oh, from one lighting situation to another. Oh. Dehumidifiers on, hang on a minute. So I've worked out with this dreadful lighting that if I stay quite close to the camera it tends to focus a bit better but it is a little bit alarming for you. I have barely picked the camera up today and I have no kind of sense of what I film. Normally I, I sort of have an idea of sort of beginning, middle, end but that's not happened today. I've had a really lovely chilled out day we when we got back from town early we bumped into the neighbors that live at the end of our garden and they were out helping with their daughter's driveway and they had their granddaughter with them who's not even two yet and she was just adorable so we ended up chatting to them and then we all had to be taken down the road to be shown a scary witch that was hanging on someone's door by by the two-year-old and of course we all had to obey because when a when a two-year-old when a toddler tells you that you've got to do something then you all do it <laughs> so that was really lovely to catch up with them and and I've just made a curry which was really nice because we haven't had Indian food in in a long time and we really enjoyed it, it was just nice to have something that uh, we it, it wasn't so run-of-the-mill for us at the moment and I, I think everyone's feeling quite happy and Phoebe even said I've had a really lovely day today it's just been really lovely and gentle. I've yet to decide yet whether tonight I would like to have my lovely, warming, relaxing hot milk and my special biscuits. My special biscuits being the McVitie's uh, digest chocolate digestives with a caramel layer. I've been asked a few times what a digestive is. 
Without Googling it, I'm not sure I could give a very good answer. It's a biscuit. So I guess if you call a bit, so it's sweet, but plain. I like them when I'm not very well, I've got an upset tummy. They feel like good tummy food. But it is a biscuit, so they're sugary and they're sweet and they're lovely dunked in tea. It's not a cracker and it's not... Yeah, it's definitely a biscuit, but it's not like a biscuit with chocolate chunks. It's not all singing, all dancing. But then the next step up is a chocolate digestive, which has a layer of... Um, this is a lovely subject. To, with a layer of chocolate on top. And then... My special biscuits are just a whole new level of specialness as they've got a caramel layer in between the digestive and the chocolate. So now, now I probably do want that. So I can't decide whether I wanted that or a glass of wine on a Monday. I don't know. I'll see how I feel after my lovely warm bath. Thank you so much for watching and thank you for all your likes, comments and everything. It's just, I, it's just wonderful. And I'm sorry I'm so behind on comments and I will catch up because I love reading them and I will see you tomorrow. Bye. I am babbling on the bench, which can only mean one thing. There's a vlog about to happen. Um, I've